Hey there! In this first episode of KSP Easy Mods, we're going to be looking at how to install and manage mods using a tool called CCAN. As I mentioned in the series introduction video, CCAN is an acronym for Comprehensive Kerbal Archive Network. And what it is, is a simple GUI program to help manage your KSP mods by preventing you from installing incorrect versions of mods or conflicting mods, and it keeps you up to date on the latest available versions of your installed mods. If you want to understand how CCAN works in a little more detail, there's a lot of information on both the official KSP forums as well as the CCAN GitHub page. We'll be visiting both these sites in this video and I'll leave links for them in the description below. So let's jump in and get started with installing CCAN. So the first thing we're going to want to do is open up a browser. Uh, let's just go to Google and search KSP forums. Then uh, go ahead and select the add on releases uh, subforum. And right away, what you see right near the top here in the uh, sticky threads is a, uh, is a thread for CCAN. Uh, go ahead and click that. And here is the uh, CCAN page. I would recommend you probably give this first post uh, in the thread a, a good read. Um, we, we're not going to do that now, but. Um, what we're going to use this for is just to uh, to link us over to where we can download it on the GitHub page. So follow that link that's right there. You can see it's going to bring up the GitHub page and the latest releases. And then you just want to scroll down until you get to the download section. Now, what you might want to know here, this ccan.exe, this is not an installer program. It's not a self-extracting executable. It is simply the program itself. So what we're going to do when we select it is we're going to do a save as and I'm going to drop it right into my uh, Steam KSP directory. So Steam Apps Common Kerbal Space Program. And you just go ahead and save it right there. Download as complete. So we can close that. We can uh, minimize this for now. Then we can jump Let's navigate back to that directory. And what I want to do just quickly is uh, just send this to the desktop. Let's create a let's create a shortcut key at the desktop. And then we can run it from there. So the first time you run CCAN, uh, you're going to get a couple pop-ups. You can see here the first one, check for updates. And what this is asking, of course, is uh, for the CCAN program itself, not for the mods that you're going to be using CCAN to manage, but for CCAN itself, do you want to check for an update? So I'd, I'd certainly recommend yes. I'm going to pick yes. And then it's going to go through and update the repository the first time through. And then you're going to get this pop-up, which says, would you like to refresh the mod list every time? Uh, so again, now that's going out and going out to the repository and checking for all the mods that have been added to CCAN. And so again, I certainly would recommend selecting yes there. So this is uh, basically your main screen. You can see quite a simple, uh, nice, clean interface. Uh, there's a couple uh, tabs at the top here. These are the mods that are obviously have been uh, updated for CCAN to find and track and manage. And then you have the update repositories uh, where that gives you a, a quick indication here that the last repository update was successful. And basically what you can do on this main page uh, obviously is there's a list here you can sort by the various uh, headers uh, and then you can also filter. So this is a uh, this is a nice little nice little feature, uh, so it helps you thin down if you're targeting a particular name or a particular author. Helps you thin down from that list of of hundreds of mods that uh, that we just saw. And again, you can alphabetize by name, by author, etc. Uh, you can also see the KSP version, uh, the maximum version supported. Generally speaking, this will 
will be the, the latest version, but you can see there are some exceptions to that. One of the other things you can do is click on the name and start typing, and of course it will uh, find the nearest match to what you're typing. And what I was looking for here to demonstrate is the Kerbal Attachment System. Uh, this is probably not a mod we'll focus on in this series uh, because it's a bit more of a, uh, adds uh, some more advanced functionality to the game. But it's a very, uh, very popular mod in the KSP community. And, I, and I'm selecting it to highlight some things over here on the pane on the right. So the first tab of this pane, of course, is, is just the metadata where it tells you the version, the license, the author, all, all that information. Uh, the interesting next tab is going to be the relationships tab. So that is the tab which will indicate to you if there are any conflicts or dependencies. So in this case, you can clearly see it depends on module manager. So we're going to need to install and it will actually prompt you if you were to try to install a uh, Kerbal attachment system right now, it will prompt you if you wish to install module manager as well. Uh, so that is a nice, nice feature. Uh, which again helps helps you manage because it prevents you from unwittingly installing a mod without its dependency or installing a mod that conflicts with one of the other mods you have installed. It will also notify you of that. And then of course the contents. Once you've installed it, the content will be available to you and you can find all the various assets. Once you've selected a mod for installation, you'll notice a new tab appeared at the top. It's the change set tab. And if you select that, you will see here that not only did it take a Kerbal Attachment System, but it also took the Module Manager. And when you apply those, you'll see there's a recommendation. So you can see the difference. The first time it was a dependency, and so it automatically included that for you. Uh, what we have here is a mod that has been identified uh, because it's by the same authors. It's the Kerbal Inventory System. Uh, they've recommended you use it. So I'm going to continue with that selected as well. And now you can see it's installing all three of those mods. KAS, KIS, and Module Manager. Once that's done, you'll see they're selected. Uh, I can quickly, uh, if you quickly sort by the installed, you'll get the, the installed items at the top. And there you can see they're there. And as I mentioned, the contents tab now shows those various uh, assets in the in the folders. Basically, it highlights the folder structure for you. So that's uh, also also uh, handy. So let's take a quick break here, and I'll be back to show you the update function. And we're back. I just had to wait long enough for one of my installed mods to have a new release deployed, so I can show you how simple it is to update that. And then we can finish up on how CCAN deals with manually installed mods and multiple KSP installs. So basically there are two quick ways to find updates. The first way is to sort on the installed column to get all your installed mods at the top. And then you can see the ones that have the update box available. The problem with this is you could have still many pages of installed mods forcing you to scroll uh, to find all the available updates. So the better way to do that is actually with the filter tool. So click on upgradable in the filter tool and there you can see uh, that eliminates all the mods that don't have an update. And so Kerbal Inventory System has an update available. What we want to do is select that update and then you'll see it's the same process as when you install. You'll notice the change set tab has now been created and you can see the update is listed in the change set tab. You apply and you're golden. So now you want to go back to uh, your filter and you should see the new Kerbal inventory system right there updated to 1.2.2. Perfect. Now I want to use science alert to demonstrate manual installs, but since it's already installed here, we're going to go ahead and uninstall it first. Now take notice that the latest version that we have installed here is 1.8.9. So to do an uninstall, you simply do the reverse operation. You unselect installed. Once again, you see the change set tab. You see a remove is pending. You go ahead and apply that. And science alert is now removed 
from your list. No longer installed. Now you want to be careful on installing mods because during an active save game this can have serious negative consequences as there are parts or scripts that that mod uh, has installed which may be needed by the save game that will now be missing. So be careful when you uninstall mods. Now let's quit out of uh, CCAN and let's do a manual install of Science Alert. So to install Science Alert, we'll go to a version which I previously have downloaded. And I downloaded it to a mods directory which I created myself in the Kerbal Space Program structure. And there it is there, Science Alert. Now remember this, uh, this is version 1.8.7, whereas the latest version, which we just saw in CCAN, was 1.8.9. So if we manually install this, uh, again as I said in the introduction video, a uh, very simple process to manually install. Generally what you'll just do is drag the folder uh, under game data into your Kerbal Space Program game data. And you're good to go. It should be installed. So we can now go back into CCAN. And what we should see with a manually installed program is it will be listed as an auto detect. You can see here the AD, auto detect. Now, the important thing to remember with a manually installed mod is that CCAN will not manage it. So this is a mod that CCAN capable, uh, CCAN compatible, and that's why it's showing it. It's, it's showing it in the list, it's auto detecting it, but it will not manage it. Again, remember 189 is the latest version. We installed 187, and yet there's no update button there. So really that's why I'd recommend using CCAN for every CCAN compatible mod. Of course, there's still mods out there without CCAN compatibility, and in those cases, you have no choice but to manually install them. But remember, those mods will not be listed in CCAN, so you'll have to keep track of updates and potential conflicts yourself. Now, the final feature I wanted to show you was the multiple installs. So what you'll notice here under the File menu is Select KSP Install. Now, I happen to have two. I have my Steam install as well as a second install. And when you select that, it takes you to your second install with your second set of mods. You can see here it's a different list of installed mods than I have in my, in my Steam install. And it keeps track of that and it keeps them separate and it can manage both independently, which is a great feature, uh, all off of the one CCAN executable file. You may have to uh, select that manually. You can add new to find um, your non-default installs, but it can manage multiple KSP installs. So I thought that was worth noting. So that's about it for our CCAN introduction. This is the tool and the approach that we'll use for all the mods covered in this series. So get ready for some cool mods and we'll see you in the next episode. Take care.